Never had to look back. God moved in my life in so many different ways. Took me, I was a little bricklayer when I left that cush, cushy situation I was in. I was laying brick and trying to go to school, and then God gave me a promotion. I found a minister that was going for God. His name was Melvin Garner. He's now passed away. I began to follow Melvin. I was there. If he went right, I went right. If he went left, I went left. I used to drive him through the night. Now, ministers in that day didn't take airplanes. We were against airplanes. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd drive him through the night. I'd drive him through the night. All the way out, have to have him back for church Sunday. We'd drive until just an hour or so before service. People used to say, your brother Garner's goat. Your brother Garner's goat. Well, let me tell you right now, brother Garner's goat has went gone a whole lot further than that crowd that tried to talk him out of doing it. Do not listen to the second voice. It will not bring you to God's best. It will bring you to something much less. Whew. There's something about the bottom of the barrel. That when you're there in your youth, it's okay. But in retirement years, it's a horror to be in the bottom of the barrel. And that is where the devil is trying to get you. It ha it's his purpose. He goes night. He goes day. When you get up, he's ready. Whenever you go to bed, he's ready. In the middle of the day, when it's time to eat lunch, he's ready. Anytime God speaks, he's there to say, nope, do it this way. Nope, do it that way. Nope, do it this way. You better, oh, you will anyway. I've told you, and you believe me, in 15, 20 years when I'm here, hallelujah, <laughs> 70, 77 and a half now, so how old I'll be then? 90-something. But you, ask, you look and say, Brother John, I didn't ever hear the second voice. No one will be able to say that. You will never forget what I've spoken to you today. It will be in your mind until the day that you pass from this earth. Child of God, it is there. It is real. And until the Lord puts him in the bottomless pit, that second voice will be speaking. And he'll be talking very plain and very logically, very logically to you. But our God is not a God of logic. Our God transcends logic. He goes beyond all of the things that man thinks they know. And he goes into a realm that's above and beyond anything that anyone can imagine. I serve the great God of the universe is who I serve. And when he speaks, it'll be the first voice. But immediately after that, there'll be a second voice. Are you grasping what I'm saying to you? Go a little further with me. We come to Achan. Achan is now with uh, Joshua. They're getting ready to go in and take Jericho. The time is ready, and God speaks. The first voice says, don't take any of the wealth. You bring it all into the house of God. The first fruits will go to the house of God, just like the tithe now goes to the house of God. Here are now the first fruits of a great nation that will be harvested, a great land that will be harvested. We come to find that God says, don't take any of it to yourself. Okay, great. First voice. But then Achan. Achan is there and he sees there's something. Oh, look, there's a bar of gold. And he says, My, look at that Babylonian garment. You know, he looked this way and he looked that way. And he said, oh, my, and a bar of silver. Oh, look at the things that are going into the house of God. I'll take these. I covet this. I see it and I want it. Child of God, the second voice came right out of, what's his name? Achan. Came right up out of Achan's spirit. It spoke to him. Child of God, it's not always going to be out there some way. Hey, don't do that. But sometimes it will rise right up out of you. Your soul will talk. And the Bible says the soul is desperately wicked above all things. And who can know it? The soul many times will rise up, talk through you, and try to tell you not to do what God said to do. Child of God, this is a truth. If I've ever preached a truth, if I've ever preached a, a life-changing message, it's this message here that you must not listen to the second voice. No matter how tantalizing it sounds, no matter how logical it sounds, just pass it up. Just pass it up. Remember Abraham when you go after it. Remember Abraham lost half of everything he had coming over the second voice. 
it must not happen to you. Thank God you're in a place where the first voice is preached. Thank God you're in a place where you can hear about the good things that God has for you, not all of the things that are being taught all over the world today, poverty and, and misery and sickness and death and God telling, killing your kids so he can have flowers for his garden. This is not God's best. You are in a place where the truth of God's being taught. The strength of God is here. And when you listen here, that first voice comes across this pulpit again and again and again. Hallelujah.